the roots of climbing was from Darjeeling. The summit started, the famous summit started from Darjeeling. There are so many, I mean, some of the most famous people in the area are mountaineers. So it'd be cool to check them out. I've never climbed anything, you all know that. And um, Sammy has climbed a few mountains around the world. So tomorrow is gonna be my first climb. Make sure you watch that video. So subscribe to the channel, please. Really helps us out. It doesn't cost you anything. Just give us a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. And then you'll see our journey. We have been to Delhi, Magalaya. There are lots of videos on there from this trip. And then we're also going to Varanasi after that. So it's the same entrance, the same ticket for the zoo and the mountaineering institution. So we're gonna go and do the institution, go to the museum, and then we're gonna come back through to the zoo. And we're gonna see some of the animals. Um, Gatti was involved with some of the red panda documentaries from the UK. So he's gonna teach us all about them, tell us all about them. Um, quite excited. The air feels a bit thin up here now. And it gets to about two, three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm starting to feel it. Hope I'm shredding some LBs. So at this museum, you have the uh, Tenzin Norgay, the Sherpa who um, climbed Everest, was the first person to climb Everest with Hillary. Um, Hillary was actually a Kiwi, but obviously British claimed the climb because it was in the Commonwealth. But he was actually a Kiwi. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, but they actually ha uh, had his cremation up here, and this is his memorial. But obviously, he's like a god up here in, uh, in Darjeeling. This is where the, 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 the summit started, in Darjeeling. It wasn't actually in Nepal. So um, history runs deep here. We're going to find out some more. I've never even been interested one bit in mountaineering, but when I hear Gatti talking about it, it's so inspiring. And meeting some of the local mountaineers and also some of the sons of some of the great men that have traveled the world, assisting people, as Sherpas um, to, to climb some of the biggest mountains in the world. It really is inspirational, they're just built different. So, went up to the museum, that's a definite, even if you're not into mountaineering, I couldn't film when I was in there, but it just blows your mind. I've, I've now got three documentaries I need to watch on Everest and on the expeditions up there because it is just unbelievable. What they achieved back then with the equipment they had is just mind blowing. Also, You've got the adjoining zoo. Now, I don't particularly agree with zoos, don't like them. I walk, you have to walk through, so I took a few snaps, but um, yeah, I'm really split about the whole zoo situation and the, because they probably, they're probably captured, they they're not bred in captivity, so it's like, is it spreading awareness? Is it, I don't know what it's doing. So, it's not my opinion, if, if it was up to me there wouldn't be any zoos and it would be illegal to have zoos. However, who am I? Who am I to say? But what you have got outside is this market on this hairpin corner and they sell the, the mix, I can't remember what it's called, if it's, it's not chata, if it's the mix with the chickpeas and the peas and the salt and the amazing seasoning, you've definitely got to try that. And obviously you've got your pashminas and your, uh, and your scarves and you've got some food at the top right on the hairpin here. Apparently really good stuff, so um, is that, it's definitely worth coming up here. Definitely worth going into the museum, it was incredible. Um, we're gonna go and get some food now. The food here has blown my socks off and I love Indian food. The best pork I've had has been in India, the best chicken I've had in, 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 has been in India, uh, the best goat I've had is, has been in India and Nepal. When we leave, I'll tell you what I think about Nepal because I've still got two or three restaurants with probably about nine different dishes to try. But, so far, so good. The mamas, I'm in love. Let's go.